Welcome back to Tiny Tasks, Big Benefits. In last week's episode, we discussed the many big benefits of building routines into our daily lives. I'm Luna Fuentes, and this week's episode is all about what might not feel like a tiny task, but actually is one of the easiest ways to start laying that foundation of routine, and I'm going to show you how. Let's talk about scheduling your day. Let's dive deeper into the concept of scheduling and why it holds such a big benefit in our lives. And I'll give you a sneak peek. The last benefit is my favorite. First, we have to understand the value of our time. One of the foundational steps to appreciating scheduling is recognizing the value of our time. Time, unlike money or possessions, is a non-renewable resource. Once it's spent, it's gone forever. This undeniable fact elevates the importance of being intentional with how we use our time each day. By scheduling, we're essentially placing a value on our time, recognizing that it's worth organizing to spend it on activities that matter to us. Reducing anxiety. We live in a world filled with endless tasks, responsibilities, and distractions. This reality can brew a cocktail of anxiety and overwhelm us if we're not careful. However, when we schedule our day, we take control. We tell our time where to go instead of wondering where it went. This control acts as a buffer to anxiety, providing a clear plan of action reducing the ambiguity and uncertainty that can stir our worries. Another benefit is boosting efficiency. (laughs) Let's talk about that E word, efficiency. Scheduling is a tool that you can use that will tremendously boost your efficiency. When you have a plan, you eliminate the wasteful moments of wondering what to do next. It's like going grocery shopping with a list versus wandering the aisles aimlessly much less when you're starving. A schedule acts like your roadmap, minimizing procrastination and maximizing productivity. It helps us to prioritize what's important. Often we find ourselves being pulled into the urgencies of the day, forgetting about the things that are truly important. A well laid out schedule helps you to prioritize. It's a visual representation of your priorities, ensuring that your time is allocated to what truly matters before it's consumed by the lesser important activities. It's important for self-awareness and growth. Learning to schedule promotes self-awareness and growth. When you regularly plan and review your days, you begin to notice your patterns. You learn about what takes up most of your time, what gives you joy, and on the opposite end, what drains you. Over time, this awareness adds in making better scheduling decisions, fostering personal growth. And remember when I said that the last one was my favorite? This is it, goal achievement. Achieving a goal or making progress towards it can be incredibly rewarding and stimulating, both psychologically and physiologically. The neurotransmitter dopamine plays a huge role in this process. Let's unpack how it's involved. Motivation and reward. Dopamine is often termed the feel-good neurotransmitter. It's released during pleasurable situations, stimulating feelings of enjoyment and reinforcement that motivates a person proactively to perform certain activities. When you achieve a goal, or even make significant progress towards it, your brain releases dopamine, which makes you feel good, motivated, and rewarded. Who doesn't want to feel more of that? Dopamine is also crucial for reinforcement learning, where it reinforces the desirability of certain actions. If achieving a goal triggers a dopamine release, 
Your brain takes note of these behaviors and actions that led to this positive reinforcement. This way, you're more likely to repeat those behaviors to achieve more goals, further enhancing your motivation and drive. Dopamine also helps in maintaining focus and attention. Crucial attributes for goal achievement. By keeping you focused, dopamine aids in the continuation and completion of tasks necessary to achieve your goals. Think of having a routine schedule, like having a compass in the dense forest. It guides your steps, ensuring that you're headed in the desired direction, even when distractions and urgencies try to lead you astray. And remember, the aim is not to have every minute packed with activities, but to ensure the time spent is aligned with your values and goals. Now, let's look at the most common doubts about scheduling. People will ask me this, and it's always an interesting conversation. One of the most common questions is, isn't scheduling my personal life going too far? I mean, it sounds like it could lead to a rigid, inflexible life with no spontaneity. It's a great question and a common misconception, but scheduling doesn't necessarily mean rigidity or eliminating spontaneity. It's more about organizing your time in a way that you ensure priority tasks and activities are taken care of, while also allocating time for relaxation and spontaneous activities. A well-planned schedule can actually free up your time, reduce stress, and provide opportunities for spontaneous enjoyment without the nagging feeling of forgetting something important. Another common question is, I worry that scheduling might take too much time. Doesn't it become another task on its own? Another great question. Initially, It may take a bit of time to set up a schedule, especially as you work to identify your priorities and how much time you need for each task. However, as you get accustomed to it, it becomes a quick, easy, and incredibly beneficial task. The time invested in scheduling is often saved many times over during the week as you operate with a clear plan, avoiding procrastination, and last-minute rushes. Plus, There are many user-friendly scheduling tools and apps available to help streamline the process. We're going to talk about the easiest tiny tasks to help with that in just a minute. The last super common question I get is, what if unexpected situations derail my schedule? It seems like setting up a schedule might set me up for failure when life throws a curveball. Well, it's true, life is often unpredictable and and throws us curveballs on occasion. However, having a schedule can actually provide a framework that helps you handle these unexpected situations better. When you have a clear plan for your day, it's easier to see where adjustments can be made and how you can accommodate unforeseen circumstances. Your schedule isn't set in stone, but rather it's a flexible guide that can be adjusted as needed. It's all about creating a structure that supports you, come what may. Plus, by having a routine, you'll find you have built-in buffers that allow for life's uncertainties. Now, let's get into the tiny tasks that will give you big benefits when it comes to building routines by learning to schedule your day. Tiny task number one, choose your weapons. These weapons will help you to conquer your day and build the routines that will propel you forward. But what are they? Number one, somewhere to track your schedule. This could be digital, like an online planner or a calendar, or it could even be old school, like a to-do list on paper, a physical agenda, or a weekly wall calendar. Your other weapon is something to remind you to stay on track. If you're using a digital product, there may be built-in reminders. For example, if most of your day is digital and you want to use an online calendar on a computer or on your phone, then you can build in reminders to go off five or 10 minutes ahead of time. If you're using a paper tool, which is more common for daily life when we're not at work, 
then there is a surefire tiny task that will make all the difference. Are you ready for it? Set an alarm. We all have tech, whether it be phones or smartwatches. Heck, this is a hack you can even do old school and use an alarm clock. But if you're using tech, this hack could not be easier. We use alarms to wake up in the morning, so why not use one to remind us of a task that needs to be done throughout the hectic day? Do you have medications that you take daily or even weekly? Set an alarm. Make it repeat at whatever appropriate interval. Do you know you need to get to the grocery store? Make that long overdue call to a friend? Feed the dogs? Set an alarm. Title it whatever will remind you of the routine you want to create. You can even program most smartphones to read you the title of the alarm out loud. My fur baby is now trained to eat when his breakfast alarm goes off and not a minute before. Because otherwise, truth be told, he, he'd want to eat all day. But even the cat knows when he hears the automatic voice say, it's time to have breakfast, that his favorite routine is about to start. Scheduling and time management are a part and parcel of building healthy routines that will support us in having a full and satisfying life. So, set an alarm. Actually, go ahead and set a few. Tiny task two. Choose your battles. This one is easy. You'll assess the items that need to go on your schedule, estimate their time allotment, and schedule them. Choosing what things to schedule might sound difficult, but think of the things you often forget. Some people may not need to schedule their meal times, where others might completely forget to eat if they're very busy. But the things you're always forgetting Scheduling these will give you easy wins. Always running out of pet food? Schedule when you buy it, even if it's monthly. Put that bad boy in your calendar and set an alarm. Do the kids have a project due in a month? Schedule time to sit with them and help them out. Tiny task number three, start small and commit. The biggest mistake we can all make when we're choosing to build better habits is to bite off more than we can chew. Immediately, this brings the villain, defeat, and its psychic feelings of failure to town very quickly. The best recommendation is to start by scheduling three things a day. Once you've mastered these things, you can easily add more. Now let's have an honest conversation about commitment. Some people might be thinking, what kind of commitment am I making? Adhering to a schedule does require a level of commitment. It's like setting up an appointment with your future self to work towards the life you aspire to live. This journey of self-discipline begins with recognizing the immense value that scheduling can bring into your life. First off, the level of commitment begins with a decision a decision that your time is valuable and worthy of being managed wisely. This is followed by the action of actually creating the schedule and the resolve to stick to it. You're not just jotting down tasks on a piece of paper or in a digital app. You're carving out time slots for your ambitions, your health, your relationships, and your own personal growth. Embracing this level of commitment is essentially embracing a pathway to a better version of yourself and a more enriching life. Truthfully, it's less about time management and more about self-management. So when your alarm goes off, do the thing. Don't get sidetracked or think I'll do the thing in a couple of minutes don't think you can do the thing while you're doing other things. Multitasking has been proven to be a complete fallacy. And in a future episode, we're going to talk about why and what the better tiny task is. But the hack with all of this comes down to doing the thing when the alarm goes off. 
So as we're wrapping up, let's recap the three tiny tasks that will have you building stronger, healthier routines by scheduling your day. One, choose your weapons, whether it's a planner, a calendar, or a daily or weekly to-do list, record your day somewhere. Your second weapon is to set an alarm. Set them in appropriate intervals for the item, whether daily, weekly, or monthly. Heck, even quarterly works. Tiny task number two, choose your battles. These are the items that you may most often forget to do. Schedule these and set the alarms. As your scheduling muscles strengthen, add more items to your schedule calendar alarm system. Tiny task number three, start small and commit. Choose three things to start with. Get them set up, assess if the time you have allotted works well, and refine them as you go. And don't forget, most importantly, when the alarm goes off, do the thing. Scheduling your day is much more than just a routine builder and a time management tactic. It's a pathway to a well-orchestrated life. It grants you the power to prioritize, to act, and to thrive amidst the chaos that daily life often throws our way. So follow the three-step tiny tasks we just discussed and watch as your days transform from mundane to meaningful. If you're interested in learning how to really make daily scheduling the power tool that it is, feel free to reach out to me. I'm happy to show you in depth how you can build better routines and reclaim your time. Thanks for being here with me today in this cozy little corner where we celebrate growth one tiny but powerful step at a time. Remember, life's grandiose transformations are often born from the simplest of challenges. Until next time, step forward with courage, belief in yourself, and a heart brimming with hope.